How long have you been in uh, Boston South End? Boy, Kevin, I've been here since 1973, and it was an exciting place for an artist back then. You're a pioneer. Oh my God, this was like rooming houses, bums, underground nightclubs. It was wild, but it's totally changed now. Yeah, I mean, it's a completely different neighborhood today. Totally, it's like five-star restaurants. We have two theaters. We have valet parking, the Center for the Arts. It's like, and then all these townhouses. They used to be full of bums, and now they're just loaded with uh, condos. And also a workshop, right? Because your glass studio is right here. Yeah, that's my building, Kevin. I bought that one in 83 for 140000 and everybody said, you're crazy. <laughs> 140? I'll give you 154 right now. Try 3 million. Yeah, I suspect so. That's great. And you're still in here working. So up on the second floor is my studio and workshop. And that's where we got our glass. I'd love yeah. to have a look. Sure. Hey, Kevin, when I came here in uh, 83, this was a rooming house, and this was just a total messed up place with uh, bricks and grates and all kinds of ironwork all over it. It was a war zone down here. So did you expose this beautiful facade? Yeah, we pulled everything off and we found this nice facade on the second floor and the first floor we had to gut and rematch it with something else. Beautiful patina from the old copper, that's great. Yeah, an artist in the South End painted that for me. Painted? Yeah. Oh, so that's actually wood, a faux paint job. Yeah, people think it's real, but it's wood. Terrific. Well, can we look inside? Come on in, Kevin. Uh, not much of the old rooming house left in here. The only thing I saved was this tin ceiling. So this was original? This is the original pressed tin. That's it. Oh, Everything that else good. is new. All right, so workshop and showroom. Yeah, over here you'll see some of the stuff we're doing. This is how it works. Uh, we start with a little sketch for the client. So they can see sort of what it's going to look like and how the colors are going to interact. Yep, that's all pen and ink and watercolors. Mm -hmm. Then we go down to a a bigger sketch for them to see how it's going to look on a larger scale. Yeah, okay, so we've got a mermaid in design here. And then you see the finished product wow. here. Wow, that is amazing, yeah, remarkable. This is, this is going in someone's bathroom in a townhouse. So this is all new work. All uh, brand new. Great artistry, wow. Thanks. Come on over and check out this one. Help me pull it out. Uh, okay, safe to move it? Sure. All right, so where was this? This originally was in a church at the turn of the century, but now someone has it hanging in their living room. Keys to the kingdom of heaven. So what did you have to do to it? A lot of the pieces were broken, so we actually had to repaint the pieces and put them back in so you actually can't tell what's new and what's no, old. No, you can't. So that's ready to go into a yep. private home. What's the story on this guy here? Uh, this is a new window. This is new? Yeah, that's the key to a good stained glass window. If you have to ask if it's new or old, that tells you right there it's a good quality window. It looks like you went to great lengths to make it look old with all this old glass here. All these jewels come from Europe and all this textured glass is blown in all parts of Europe and some in America. Oh, this is beautiful. Here's a good one if you like old ones. What's the story behind this? This is from the 1600s from Switzerland. You're kidding me. This is over 400 years old? Over 400 years old. These are door plaques. They had them in their front door as sort of a coat of arms. And you've just got it hanging here in your window by an old wire. Oh, I love looking at it. <laughs> All right. Oh, here's one I recognize. Oh, yeah. This is out of the house. Yeah, this is a side light uh, from the interior door. Still has the cracks and some of the uh, missing glass here, so yet to be worked on. Yeah, we're trying to find the right glass to make this window out of and we have some choices over there samples here in the window and yeah we... hey you chose the one I like too you can see that works pretty well yeah that is pretty nice so how many artists working here we have five artists and uh, if you see here we're working on some of your windows today oh yeah I recognize this one it was a focal point in our house yeah, this, this actually was on the landing of the stairway yeah uh, this is the upper sash right yeah and it's really rotten around the border so we couldn't see that when it was in the uh, wood frame, but that has really deteriorated. Yeah, it's just time and years just rot the lead right out. So what's the process? You just sort of pull that away from the glass? We're going to clip it out because this lead isn't so bad, but the perimeter lead is really bad. So here's a piece of the perimeter really beat up, all the dried out putty in the middle. So what do you replace this with when it's all pulled out? We have some nice new lead to put all around the perimeter of this window. Over here is the new lead comes in boxes in all different sizes and widths. Here, look at it. Oh, yeah. So we've got channels on either side uh, to hold the glass, obviously, and then sort of a rounded front here that we'll see when the window's complete. Yep, that's it. That's what you use to make it on this lead. All right, so what's the process? Just cut it up and put it in place? No, no. See how this is all loose and crooked and bent? Yeah. I'm going to have you stick it in this little vise down here. This guy here? Yeah. All right, spring-loaded, some teeth. Hold it a little bit. Okay. And I'm going to stretch it. Not only are we strengthening it, but we're straightening it. Ugh. 
And then I'm going to pass it over here to Robert so he can actually put it onto the window. So all of the old lead has been taken off the bottom here. And you can see that channel there in the new lead that you're using to slip around the glass. Yep, yeah, fits right in there. And then we're going to use this wood to hold it in place. And then we're going to grind the old lead here and remove some of this patina so we it'll attach to the new lead. They both have to have new metal showing. The flux is being applied now, and that's the liquid that makes the solder stick to the metal. He is attaching the old lead to the new lead with the solder. Once we finish the bottom, we're going to go all around and add lead and solder to the whole perimeter of the arch. So you have new leads all the way around the window like you've got here. This is the uh, bottom sash, right? This is right? the bottom sash, and it's all done and all polished and all ready to go in, except you'll remember there were uh, some lead cast fleur de lis on the bottom mm. of this window. Right. And with further investigation, we noticed that a couple are missing, so we're going to have to recast them. So how are you going to go about making us some new floor de lis Well, we're going to make a replica from the original, and we're going to make it in a mold using plaster of Paris and water. We're going to mix this and then let it sit for about 20 minutes, and then we should have a nice mold. Just before the plaster sets up, we have to press this lead casting into it now. There we go. Now we have to let this one set up for 24 hours because we want the plaster really dry. However, I have one that I did yesterday and as you can see the imprint from the original mold. Sure. I'm going to put it over here at this cauldron where we heat the lead scrap up to over 600 degrees and I'm going to pour it into the mold. Wow. So now how long is that going to take to set up? Really quickly, watch. Probably less than a minute. Hey, it looks like it's set up now. So yep. how do you get that out of there? I just use these little pliers, dig it in here around the side, and hmm. pull it out. Now, I suspect that's still pretty hot. Oh, yeah, that's way too hot to handle. It'll take probably five or ten minutes to cool down. Oh, this seems cool now. So I'm going to trim it up with my lead snips here, clean up all the extra solder. Hmm. Came around the sides. I'm applying a chemical that will cause a reaction that will give it a patina that gives the illusion that it's 100 years old. We don't have to wait 100 years to get it like that. And well, there you have it. There a it is. Brand new old Fleur de Lis. That's it. It's beautiful. Thank you. Here's another window, Kevin. Oh, yeah, sure. This is one of the uh, side lights to our exterior front door. Yeah, this was a mess. There's lots of cracks everywhere. The, the window is moving and buckling, and the lead you can see is already breaking apart. This needs to be totally re-leaded. It's a huge job. All right, so what goes into uh, completely re-leading this window? Well, let's go over here and watch Anna. Ah, so you've got yourself some sort of a template laid out here underneath on paper. Where did this come from? Well, first we get a big piece of paper, put it over the original, and we do a rubbing with a crayon. So okay. we get the exact design that was the window was made, so there's no guesswork. Yeah, that's very clever. And so here it is laid out underneath. You've got all the individual pieces numbered corresponding onto the glass. Is this new glass or old? Most of it is old. I'd say 90% is old and the few new pieces and that has been, we use a restoration glass to replace that. Okay, so we know exactly where it goes. You can take it apart and put it back together again and then you're saying that this is all the new lead put in here. That's all the lead, new lead. Well, you're not kidding. Big job. How long does it take to do just this window? For most artists, it would take three days, but Anna's been with us eight years, and she can finish this in one day. All right, Anna. Good to hear. So we've actually given you quite a bit of work here. Um, how long until we see it back at the house? Um, these will be done pretty soon, but they should go in last. It would only need to get broken. Good That's deal. True. All right, well, thank you, Jim. I appreciate it. My pleasure.